Yes, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I think it's time we talked about Johnny Evans. The signing we never thought we would make, um, or certainly be talking about, I think. Um, but at this point in the season, um, Johnny Evans has been an absolutely sensational uh, addition to the Manchester United side. As a backup centre-half, he's come in and been flawless, uh, calm, delivered brilliant performances and 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 really helps us out when we've needed it. You know, we've seen so many in injuries that he's actually been utilised way more um, than a player who was signed, I think, just because he trained quite well and, you know, Reese Bennett was injured at the time. Now, Evans joined United uh, with obviously years worth of Premier League experience and having obviously come through the academy, he got first team experience um, with United, but also then went on to Antwerp, Sunderland, West Brom. He played most of his um, Premier League life at Leicester, where he was for quite a few seasons, actually. This season, Evans played a lot more than he really should have done, I think. No one's disputing that. He's made 17 league appearances, two in the Champions League, 998 minutes of Premier League action, 66 in the Champions League. And he's actually in the 96th percentile, this is Europe-wide, by the way, for defenders, for clearances, 92nd percentile for blocks, 91st percentile for expected assisted goals, and 90th percentile for actual assists, with just the one assist, but you know, defenders don't get loads of assists. He is a, a sensational ambassador for the club and an excellent member of the squad, a throwback member of the squad, someone with the right sort of stuff, the right attitude. But he's done a fair bit of media as well since he rejoined United. He's had interviews with Sky. Um, he's done MUTV. He's done the United podcast. He carries himself exceptionally well as an ambassador of the club. And you can tell that he, he loves it here. He definitely feels like a dying breed. You know, a, an intense pro professional that exudes class, and I I like having him around at the club because I feel like he's passing on an education to the younger players, not just in his position, but just in the team. And I think you could say that it's the sort of pressureless kind of player that you just kind of need in a squad at times. Now, he left in August 2015. He had a year under Lou Van Gaal. He says he learned a lot working under Van Gaal. Uh, and on the United podcast, which he was on recently um, with his good wife, um, he said, I mean, I think when he came in, I was like, I was expected to work with him, but I didn't know too much about him. I knew he had a great reputation, uh, but it was in European clubs. It was a big cultural shock for everyone. He changed the whole way of playing. There was a lot more tactical emphasis on the game. And obviously I did learn a lot going through the transition between three different managers in the space of three seasons. It's interesting to see how much he picked up from Lou because he obviously put that in to, to pretty good use when he went to Leicester. Um, and, and watching him at Leicester, I, you, know, you saw him putting in some absolutely stellar performances. Now, there's not long left on his contract, obviously. He's 36 years of age. I don't think there's much expectation of a contract extension. But would an extension right now be a bad idea? I mean, he's looked better than Lindelof has. I'd argue he's looked better than Maguire has. Is it such a bad idea to, to look at giving Johnny Evans a, a, an extension for 12 months where maybe next season he plays the requisite number of games that we kind of expected him to play this season, which is, you know, like a dozen or less? When you've got the likes of Tom Huddleston on the pitch coaching the 21s through games, because that's what he's there to do, is it really such a bad idea to have a Johnny Evans at the club coaching players through a game? Now, if he still thinks he wants to play football, I think he's just proven himself to be more than ample good enough to do so um, wherever he wants to go and play. Presuming he doesn't want to go and start at centre-half for Real Madrid. You know, as a Manchester United fan, I'm sure he'd probably jump at the opportunity if it was offered to stick around. And I'm going to be honest with you, United absolutely need backup at centre-half. So it'd be ludicrous. He can't be on insane wages. 
I think it'd be a ludicrous decision to let him go. Like, do we have better? Clearly we don't. Clearly we don't, right? What harm would it be to throw another 12 months at Johnny Evans? Now, if you was, if I was sitting here arguing for Johnny Evans to be Manchester United's first choice next season, I think you'd have every right to complain and go, fucking hell, Steve, we're trying to be a team that can go on and win the league again. I think that'd be fine. I think Johnny would agree with you. But no one's sitting here asking him for Johnny to be first choice. First choice needs to be Lissandro Martinez and then either Varane, probably for the last time, for the last season, or we go to the market and we bring in Atadebo or somebody like that. And they're the first choice centre half. But you're not going to lose Varane, Maguire, Lindelof, and more and Evans in one window surely and if you are that's suicide because the injuries that we've seen this season do you think that they're just going to disappear next year would it really hurt to have someone around that you can depend on like a Johnny Evans that's probably a great leader in the dressing room that's actually won stuff at Manchester United because guess what not a lot of fucking them in the dressing room at the moment I'm staking the case. Johnny Evans needs to be given a contract extension at Manchester United. If you're with me, let me know in the comments. And if you're not, well, state your case and your reasons why in the comments as well. I'll see you in the next one. Laters. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news, as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.